Welcome, everybody, to the webinar number 39 of the IEEE Egg Robotics and Automation Technical Committee, July 2016. And today we are happy to have with us Gokhan Bayar from, and Gokhan, please tell me if I'm pronouncing this correctly, Bulent Echavit University in Turkey. Yes, it's correct. Okay, very good. And Gokhan is going to present the work that he did uh, during his PhD, uh, which is about improving uh, the trajectory tracking performance of autonomous orchard vehicles by including uh, the compensation of wheel, wheel slip in the dynamic model formulation and then in the control methods. This is work that Gokhan, I'll leave the abstract here for everybody to read. This is work that Gokhan did partly at Carnegie Mellon uh, in our group at the Field Robotics Center. Uh, so it's great to uh, have Gokhan uh, back, so to speak, and to present the results of the work that he did uh, when he was at Carnegie Mellon. And when was that, Gokhan? 2013 or 2014? Yes, two years ago. No, three years ago. No, three years ago. No, three years ago. When, Three years ago, 2013, when Gokhan spent a year with our group at the Field Robotics Center, uh, helping us develop dynamics and control methods for autonomous orchard vehicles. Uh, so again, it's great to have uh, Gokhan back, uh, especially at this time uh, of the year when not only Gokhan just had a baby uh, a few yeah. weeks ago, uh, yeah. so he is not extremely busy, but his country, of course, is going through uh, some turmoil, and uh, everybody's certainly following the events there, and, and, and still Gokhan is uh, very generously uh, coming to the group uh, and presenting despite uh, the situation, his personal situation and his country situation. Uh, so Gokhan, we are happy to have you. Uh, Gokhan, like I said, he uh, spent a year uh, with our group at the Field Robotics Center as part of his PhD that he got in mechanical engineering uh, from the Middle Eastern Technical University in Turkey, uh, where he also got his uh, master's. Gokhan's specialties are in dynamics and controls and uh, system uh, development in general, and especially ground robots. He has a long history of developing ground robots for commercial and military projects in Turkey and uh, with our team at Carnegie Mellon. And he now leads uh, the uh, robotics group at Bulent the Chavit University in Turkey, uh, which I understand is in a city uh, on the coast of the Black Sea, a beautiful port city uh, and a place I'd love to visit sometime uh, uh, with Gokhan. So with that, let me ask everybody once more, please click on the little person icon on the Join Me app. And if you see viewer as opposed to your name, you should see your name. If you don't see your name, click on the topmost viewer and then change that to your name. And also, please uh, mute your microphone or your phone at this moment. And now, Gokhan, we are going to, as we do every month, trust the miracles of technology and pass the presentation rights to you. Okay. So the Join Me app should be telling you now to uh, accept the presentation role. Oh, sorry. Are you joining using the Join Me app or the website? No, no. Uh, I did not get such a question, actually. Okay, do you have the Join Me app running? He actually now downloading the desktop application. He's seen actually, I have installed this one. So if it's going to download, why don't we do it differently and present uh, from here? Okay, so I am trying to install that one. Actually, I have installed this Join Me application. Okay, why I, don't you please run? 
Now, can you see my slides? No. Are you running the application? Yes, yes. Now it's connecting. It says connect. Okay. And, and you have to connect to that number, 250-644-990. Okay, it says connecting. How is your internet connection? Internet connection is good. It says still connecting. Okay, for now, let's go with, with this one. Can you see the slide? Can you see the slide, Gokhan? No, no. Can anyone else see the slide that I'm sharing? That's uh, Gokhan's own presentation. Yeah, I can see. Okay. Yes, so I someone see that. All right, Gokhan, why don't you go back to the previous window okay. where you could see my introduction? Actually, now. In the web page, it says, feel free to close this web page. Your meeting is running in the download Join Me program. So should okay. I close the web page? Let's try that. Let's try to run okay. through, the, through, the, through the app. Now the application is saying it is connecting. I am not sure. Is there any restriction? Web. That's okay. So why don't we do the following? Open the presentation, the exact presentation you sent me. Okay, I am and I'm going to I'm going to present it here. Okay, now the presentation is open. Okay, and you tell me go to slide two, go to slide three, go to slide four, and I'll do that for you. Yes, actually I can see yes. Uh, Okay. Now let me open the join me web page again. Yes, now I can see. Okay. All right. So you tell me go to next slide, go to next slide. Okay. This call is being recorded. Um, okay. Someone who can't. You need to turn off the microphone on your computer. Okay, now everything's okay. You okay. Should I start? Yes. Okay. Actually, I am so I did not understand what the problem Okay. Kokan, here's what you need to do. I believe. Are you? Are you calling? Are you calling? Are you calling? You need to turn off either your phone or the microphone because they are creating echo. Now it's okay? Let's try this. Okay, I am starting. I am really sorry for this case. I did not understand. Uh, there is maybe internet restriction, I don't know. And it, uh, Today, my talk is about improving autonomous orchard vehicle trajectory tracking performance via selfish compensation. Uh, so, uh, as Marcel said, this study was conducted under the supervision of him in the Field Robotics Center of uh, Robotic Institute of Carnegie Mellon University. Next slide, please, Marcel. So, the objective of this research is to develop develop a silk estimation procedure and perform the desired trajectory tracking control. And here uh, we are seeing a small uh, control block. The, the aim is to get some feedback information to the slip estimation block. So this block is fitted by the uh, position and orientation information of the vehicle and steering angle and forward velocity. And the output is the slippage uh, occurring at front and rear. Next slide, please. So, in, in general, the robot, uh, mobile robots and autonomous vehicle researchers 
uh, are assuming that a single set of controller and parameters or a unique equation of motion can be used in order for creating a uh, trajectory tracking. However, in real-time applications, this is not true due to changing the characteristics of wheel ground interaction. So why we have studied in this, in this, uh, in this research topic. Next slide, please. So uh, as I said in the previous slide, the, there are some simple assumptions in mobile robot and autonomous vehicle applications. And for instance, the, the assumptions are ideal transmission, ideal rolling, no slippage, no cost of traction control, no external wheel forces, no surface change behavior, no disturbance, something like that. In this study, uh, we did not use such assumptions, I have to say that. Uh, next slide, please. So here is the general control control uh, system block of our system. So our system has a desired task, and this task is goes through the vehicle model, and we have a controller. This controller is creating a forward velocity and steering angle for the autonomous ground vehicle. And in our case, we have uh, investigated the wheel ground interaction and surface information should be inside the vehicle model. Next slide, please. So as a general approach, the trajectory tracking control of an autonomous vehicle can be modeled by using this simple representation. So the vehicle should have a desired trajectory and in the real-time operation, there is an actual reference path. So the difference between the actual and desired trajectories can be modeled by using simple difference equations. The x error, y error, uh, the, they are the positional error, and the theta error is the uh, orientation error of the vehicle. Next slide, please. And uh, for generating the desired trajectory in literature, there are some methods are used. For instance, the first method is the dynamic approach. Uh, as an example, uh, the bicycle model is used, commonly used in the autonomous vehicle application. The kinematic car-like robot approach, uh, it is really popular also in our study, we, we, we have used this one. Point mass model is also used, so the vehicle uh, is considered as a point, and the Dubin's curves is also used frequently in such applications. Next slide, please. So in our study, we have used car-like robot model, and the equational set is also shown. Why we have chosen this model? If if the vehicle uh, vehicle's forward velocity is really slow, this model works properly. So slow means, for instance, in our application, the forward velocity was between 0 0.5 meter per second to 2 meter per second. So in order to control, in order to use this model, you need only only the orientation of the vehicle, forward velocity of it, and the, and the steering angle information. Next, next slide, please. So, the gen, so in order for constructing a model, motion model and controller, we have used this such simple representation. So in this system, we have a desired path or trajectory and the vehicle in real operation, and always there are some errors between uh, longitudinal lateral directions and also orientational error. So using such simple representation, we can easily set up a model. Next slide, please. So this, this slide shows the general idea about the uh, of our control system. So we have the desired uh, position and desired orientation for the vehicle. We have a controller. The, this controller uh, is able to generate the forward velocity and steering angle commands, and uh, also we are using some feedbacks. These feedbacks are the position, velocity, and steering angle of the vehicle, and also we are using a uh, positional and er orientational errors. For instance, in this slide, we are using the XPC, uh, I'm sorry, RTK GPS, so we are calling this XPC, uh, the high accuracy positioning. A feedback system. I am going to show you some details in the next slide. Next slide, please. So, as a simple uh, operation, so we have used the Lyapunov stability criteria. So, using this simple approach, we have 
uh, form two layer bloom functions and using these functions at the end we could be able to obtain uh, the controllers for uh, forward velocity of the vehicle and steering angle. Next slide please. And in this slide, uh, I want to show the, gen the working environment of the of an orchard uh, robot vehicle. Here, uh, there are some trees, and these trees are forming the lines of trees or rows of trees. In this slide, the objective is that the vehicle should be able to follow the desired trajectory, which lies uh, on this uh, center of two consecutive tree lines. As you can see, all the uh, width of the you know, rows of trees are different. For instance, W1, W2, something like that. And the objective is to find these values also and track the reference path. Next slide, please. So here, uh, uh, I want to show you a reference trajectory that we have uh, developed. Uh, so here, the straight lines are showing the and reference trajectory which lies on the centers of two neighbor rows and the circles are showing us the turning geometry from one row to another. Uh, next slide please. So this slide is about the turning geometry. It is one of the uh, problems in real applications. Why since generally uh, in some orchards uh, there there are always not some uh, available space for turning. So in order to solve this problem, we have developed such a geometry. So using the geometry uh, variables, we can easily set the turning geometry. And uh, in the plot shown in the right, uh, the, in order to create such a geometry, we have a steering angle profile. The steering angle profile is shown by the dashed lines. However, as you can see, this uh, geometry contains such uh, sharp turning, uh, turning options. So think about the in general, the steering mechanism is, is a mechanical system. So sharp geometry may harm this mechanical system. So as a solution, we have developed a fourth order polynomial so that the steering angle profile remains um, smoother. Next slide, please. So I have to say that in our uh, applications, uh, we developed our, our, our algorithms in robot uh, operating system, ROS and Linux, and we have coded all the operations in C++ environment. Next slide, please. So this is the general picture of the experimental orchard. So the experimental orchard have uh, eight lines of trees and seven uh, rows of trees. And this slide shows the real length or width of the rose information. And also the picture has a vehicle that we have showed this uh, autonomous orchard vehicle in our applications. Next slide, please. And now uh, I want to show you some details. We did so many experiments and we did these experiments to test the behavior of the proposed model and also we check the performance of the model. In the first experiment, we just tested the performance of it, so we did not include the slippage information. In this experiment, we used the RTK GPS in order for getting the position information. Next slide, please. Here's the first example, first result. So this result is about the four kilometer autonomous drive conducted in the orchard environment. As, as you can see, uh, the, the model, model did a good jobs and we did, uh, we did so, many, uh, so many real results. Actually, we got nearly 50 kilometer autonomous drive in this orchard. Next slide, please. So in order to complete a reference trajectory tracking control, the the steering angle profile and output is really important. This slide shows the desired and accurate steering angles for the four kilometer autonomous drive. Uh, as seen, the uh, reference steering angle profile 
uh, is uh, followed by the controller. Next slide, please. Now I have a video actually, and <laughs> what can I show you? I don't know. Uh, maybe Marcel can show you. Marcel, if you cannot find the video, we can go to the next slide. And in the second experiment, we test the behavior of the proposed model. And also in this, in this experiment, we did not use the silk chip information. Still, we are checking the performance of the uh, control system. And uh, in this experiment, we replaced the uh, RTK GPS with the laser skin rangefinder. And now uh, we are uh, detecting the trees and also estimating the rows of trees. Next slide, please. Yes, Marcel. Now the video is left, right top, actually. Right top. No, right top. Yes, this one. Tell me the number one. One, two, three, four, or five. Oh, five. Five. Yes, this video shows the steering wheel actually. Now uh, the controller generates the required comments for the forward velocity and the steering angle. In this experiment, the forward velocity was one meter per second. Uh, and in this experiment, we did not use the laser scanner and we did not use the RTK, uh, I'm sorry, slip chain formation. Uh, we were checking only the performance and accuracy of the proposed model. Okay, Marcel, we can continue the next slide. And in the second experiments, we replaced uh, with the uh, lay, uh, we replaced the RTK GPS with the laser skin rangefinder. Next slide, please, Marcel. And uh, this still we are using the same control uh, system block, only the laser skin rangefinder is placed in our system. Next slide, please. And in this experiment, we use this autonomous orchard vehicle. The vehicle has a laser skin range finder located at front mid center of the vehicle. Uh, and now uh, the purpose of using the laser scanner is to detect the trees and estimate the rows of trees. Next slide, please. And here the story is uh, seen. So the, using the laser skin range finder, uh, we can able to detect the trees and location of them also. And the estimation of the rows of trees is done by using the simple first order line equations. And we have adapted these systems in the real, uh, real vehicle. Next slide, please. And uh, now uh, this slide shows the reference trajectory. We, we use a different turning geometry. Why? Since uh, we have we have wanted to see that uh, whether our proposed model can be able to work with different geometry. So as you can see right uh, top uh, picture, the, we are using a different turning geometry. However, the procedure is the same. We are using still the fourth order polynomial in order to make the steering angle profile smaller. Next slide, please. And this still, we are using the same control block. 
And we have a controller now. Uh, we are calling this model based controller, and the, we have a role detection system. Uh, this uh, this role detection block is using the laser scanner data. All the tree detection and row estimation procedure are done in this block. We have still the trajectory generator. Uh, and at the end, our objective is to try to follow the reference trajectory with minimum tracking errors. Next slide, please. And uh, I want to show you one of the results, and these results uh, are updated in the first row of the orchard. The middle of the orchard is 4.5 meters nearly, and its length is about uh, 53 meters. And in order to show the performance of our system, proposed system, we did our experiments by using our system and the pure Persis controller. The mobile robots and autonomous vehicle researchers uh, uh, know that the pure pursuit controller is one of the simplest approach in order for tracking a reference trajectory. So as you can see from the uh, results, our method uh, generates really smooth triangle profile and the right plot shows the distance between the vehicle and the center of the row. So in both results, our procedure uh, generates really successful results. If uh, I do a comparison between the pure pursuit control. Next slide, please. Actually, in this slide, we have three videos. Uh, I uh, I really uh, worked for in order for creating these videos. However, now I cannot show you. All these videos should be working together. Marcel, maybe uh, you can show these videos. So this uh, this uh, actually the three and four and six. So three, yes. Three this one. Yes. And next one. It's, it's a little slow, but it's coming up. Mm. So somehow this one did not work. Why don't we go back? We can watch the uh, the other slide. Yes, this one. So actually, uh, let me explain something. In this experiment, I have used two cameras. Now I am uh, seeking the seat seat drive, and I am using the camera. Uh, at the at the front of the vehicle, there is another camera, so I can be able to show you the performance of the system. Also, I have created a laser scanner data window uh, video. So while the vehicle is in motion, I have locked the RTK GPS data uh, and laser scanner data, and using. To, uh, or watching this video, we can easily see how the laser uh, data is coming and how the detection procedure works. So as you can see, there is a tripod. So both cameras are uh, recording at the same time. Marcel, maybe we can show the laser video also. It's enough, I, I think. Yes, the, the, yes, this one. We can show the, uh, yes, this is the real data. Uh, in this case, the vehicle is in motion and the data was locked. And we can see the trees actually. Uh, and using this data in real time, uh, we step trees and estimate the rows of trees. Marcel, we can continue with the next slide. Next slide, please. And in the next experiment, we, uh, we are still testing the behavior and performance of the proposed system. Now, uh, 
we are using the select information and also RTK GPS is used for the position feedback. And next slide, please. And here is the control system block. And still we are using the same control system. And now we have a slippage estimation uh, top block. And this slippage estimation block can be fit by RTK GPS, laser system, or odometer and steering system. Next slide, please. Here, here is the general idea of the slippage. So we are assuming that slippage is occurring at front and rear of the vehicle in longitudinal and lateral direction. And also there are two slip variables. That means the front slip angle and rear slip angle. And using the methodology, we can uh, find out these slip variables. Next slide, please. And uh, we are using the car-like robot model uh, I have said in previous slide. So without slippage information, car-like robot model is in, in, the, in the slide. If we adapt the slippage information in our model, the model, uh, the car-like robot model is changed a little bit. In our, uh, in our experiments, as I said before, this, uh, the longitudinal velocity is really slow between 0 0.5 and uh, two meters per second. And also we are saying that the steering mechanism works at the front of the vehicle. So uh, as an assumption, the uh, slippage at front can be, is to be zero. And now we are trying to find out the slippage information occurring at the rear of the vehicle. Next slide, please. Before, before testing our system in the real orchard, we have tested our system on snow. So here we have some pictures and the slippage experiments uh, have been done in the Carnegie Mellon University campus. And now uh, I will show you some results. Next slide, please. So uh, in, this, uh, in this results, the uh, trajectory tracking control with and without uh, adding the slippage estimation are seen. As you can see, if uh, we did not add the slippage information into the overall model, the trajectory tracking performance is not good. If the slippage estimation is used inside the model, the, the desired trajectory tracking control is uh, really nice. Next slide, please. So also in the autonomous mode, the steering angle and forward velocity is important. As you can see from the steering angle results, if the estimation procedure is used, the steering angle profile is really calm. Uh, and the results show that if the steering angle is not used, the steering angle uh, becomes really crazy and it is not so good for the uh, mechanics of the steering system. Also, the forward speed is uh, is better than better than the case uh, which the estimation procedure is not used. Next slide, please. And uh, after doing this experiment, uh, we we tested our system in an orchard, so slippage information is is used, the system model and controller is used. Now we are using the road section system. Uh, actually, all the system is combined in this experiment. Next slide, please. And as you can see from this picture, the experiment was tested in total mud surface in the experimental orchard. So uh, it was a good opportunity for us to see the performance and accuracy of the system. Next slide, please. And in, in this, in this uh, studies, we have considered that, that uh, the vehicle should follow a desired trajectory in order to track the straight reference line and also in order to track the turning geometry. So the turning geometry is important from one row to another. Uh, and why? Since there should be a target box. Okay, inside the picture, 
you can see there should be a target box and the vehicle uh, should reach this box box Y. since uh, after reaching this, this box the vehicle can easily go to the next uh, next row and uh, as you can see from this uh, picture there are some variables s w s l s s s e these, these are related to the uh, real orchard parameters we have generated an algorithm and this algorithm needs to use these variables and uh, this system can be used in an orchard case. Next slide please. And this slide is about the results uh, of the slope estimation and we have four, uh, I have shown you the four, uh, four results. The results shown by A1 are obtained by using the RTK GPS uh, feedback system and in this experiment slippage estimation it uh, was not used and the results shown by F2 uh, are obtained by using the slippage estimation procedure and also the RTK GPS feedback was used and the results indicated by A3 are obtained by using the feedback information and this information is coming through the debt reckoning system however uh, we did not use the slippage estimation and the next results uh, shown by E4 are obtained by using the slippage estimation procedure and in this system data reconnect feedback and laser scanner and texture system uh, are working and as, as you can see uh, as you can see we have a target box and the objective is to follow the desired uh, trajectory and reach the target box. Next slide please. And now we have two videos actually, and the first video shows the results. Uh, this result is about turning control, and it is not using slippage estimation. And we have we have to see two videos. Yes, this one. Yes, Marcel. Actually, the other video is showing the ground for the information. If we are able to watch these two videos, we can see easily the turning geometry and the performance of the controller and system model. Marcel, can we see the other ground truth video? Yes, no. The bottom. Yes, this one. Yes, this one. So this is the ground truth video. While uh, the vehicle was in motion, I have logged the RTK GPS data in order to create this video. So the objective is to follow the desired trajectory and to reach the target box. If the vehicle reached the target box, it can easily uh, enter the next row. So the red line shows the uh, longitudinal direction of the vehicle. As you can see, if uh, we don't use the slippage estimation procedure, the vehicle cannot track the reference geometry, also it cannot be able to reach the target box. So in order to enter the next row, the vehicle should do some uh, harsh action. Uh, Marcel, we can see the other video, yes, this one. This video again shows the ground truth information, the RTK GPS data, and in this case, we are using the 
Sufci estimation procedure. Marcel video. So as you can see, after adding the source yes, information, the yes, geometry sorry. Happen here. So the geometry, the tra trajectory is followed, and the vehicle follows or uh, reach the target part. And next slide, please, Marcel. Next slide. Actually, we are done now. And uh, we have published all the details and results the study of improving the trajectory tracking performance of autonomous orchard vehicles using real compensation in the Biosystems Engineering Journal. Actually, uh, I would like to send my special thanks to co authors of this paper. And uh, my presentation now is over. Thank you for uh, attention. I am so sorry for this case. I don't know. Actually, I have I have tried to uh, prepare some nice videos, nice presentation. However, I don't know. There should be a restriction in the web. Uh, I am really so sorry. Thanks for. Don't worry. Go those those things happen every now and then. Thank you very much for the presentation and Thank you. for the detailed results. If you Let have me, questions. Uh, Yes, let me ask if uh, our audience has any questions for you. People can use the chat window on Join Me, or you can just ask your question on the phone. Actually, can I, I, people I, can, I can get any questions. Let, let me ask you, um, how has the, the, the work evolved after you went back to Turkey? What other improvements have you guys been able to, to, to make, and what vehicles are you applying this work to? Yes, actually, in Turkey, I have, uh, I have, uh, I have designed a small autonomous orchard vehicle. It is still using four wheels, and it is a differential one. And uh, the, the, uh, the difference is uh, I am trying to design and then the LiDAR system, you know, the LiDAR system is not so, uh, is really expensive. And we have designed really low cost LiDAR system and we got really good results. Uh, and now we are uh, carrying our the system to a steerable vehicle. Actually, now we are uh, working on another vehicle which has four wheels and it has a driving unit. It's Rear and it has a steering system at its front. What types of uh, orchards or uh, crops are you planning on applying the, the, the vehicle? What are the main crops in Turkey you can apply this yes. orchard to? Actually, here we have lots of cherry orchards, uh, and uh, in Turkey, one of the most important cherries in the world are. Uh, actually produced now uh, we are attending we are trying to use these vehicles in this cherry orchard orchards we got some good results and we are still working on the system on the algorithm and on the vehicle okay very good uh, other questions from the audience that's really show the slides and media Yes, actually, uh, I can share the slide and media, and uh, I can put all these videos uh, in YouTube or in under Dropbox, and I can share with you. Actually, if you go to this, actually if you go to this paper, this paper has some supplementary materials, and also you can see some videos, different videos. Very good. Any other questions? 
So, Rohan, thank you very much for the presentation. Again, we understand it's a busy time for you with the new child and the events in Turkey not being favorable to presentations like this. So, we appreciate your being with us. Thank you, Marcel. And, present the work. and to everybody, uh, let me thank you for participating. We already have a speaker lined up for August, the end of August, and you guys are going to hear all about it very soon. Everybody have a good afternoon or evening or morning, wherever you are, and we'll see each other soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Marcel. Thank you, brother.